You alright kids? It's Ras Clark. And it is official. Arc 2 has been announced. Oh my god. Oh my god. So let's break down the trailer and digest everything that has just been revealed. So we kick it off with some plant-like tame appearing from the bushes and quite a graphically impressive girl who's then greeted by the one and only Fast and Furious Vin Diesel. Right from the off, looking at their attire, it looks like we're going back. There's no tech, there's no futuristic looking things here. With Wildcard announcing that Vin Diesel will be Santiago. And I'll go into more detail on who he is and what he represents for Arc 2 shortly. But it all looks very prehistoric. It looks like we're going back, as a lot of players have yearned for. Back to spears, back to fur and hide. Vin Diesel lets off a grunt as they're ambushed by what appears to be a different tribe. So there seems to be different factions that perhaps in Arc 2 you're going to be able to decide whether you want to join a particular faction, a race of people. What's impressive is there appears to be a lot of different models and characters, and obviously children. So can we opt to play as children? And here we can see a fight sequence. And yes, I know this is a trailer, but are we going to look at more advanced combat? And then Vin Diesel whips out what appears to be a new type of weapon, a hatchet looking axe. We see a variety of birds flying out the trees that could be those pesky ithies. And then we are greeted with our first dinosaur, which is certainly not a T-Rex. It looks to predate the dinosaurs we know of old, perhaps even looking at the Ice Age range of dinosaurs. Once again, the combat looks ferocious and I hope this is going to be integrated into the game. And whilst, yes, if you didn't catch my live reaction with Jade, and I'll leave a link in the description below, there's some speculation on, on Vin Diesel's animations looking a bit off, but this is early, early announcement stuff. So let's give him some credit, let's give him some time and understand what this all means. We notice Vin Diesel doing a forward roll dive commando maneuver. So are we expecting new ways to dodge attacks? But yeah, once again, the character models look absolutely fantastic, but I'm really interested to see how children are going to work into this. And then the moment of truth is revealed where we see our characters wearing the implants. This was the moment when we knew this was Arc 2. It does feel very much more Ice Age than Jurassic, with glyphs and etches informing our protagonists that they are being watched, not unlike we've experienced throughout the story of Ark Survival Evolved. We can see a number of rings that are being summoned by someone, which don't look too different to the rings that you use to transport from map to map in Genesis. And it looks like they are still going to incorporate some science fiction technological additions by what appears to be a holographic interactive specimen ID reading tablet. We can see here that it obviously identifies the protagonist, Santiago. Its genetic sequence is complete, but the engram imprinting is incomplete, which of course I'm assuming links to the implant IDs that inform you what bosses you've killed. And there we go. Ancestry indigenous. Temporal origin 24th century AD. So this does all feel like perhaps this is going to be a prequel. But what we can see here is that Vin Diesel is accessing the Genesis system. What that entails, obviously it's tied somewhat to the latest maps we're currently playing. And we can see that he's accessing a range of archives, data and logs, not unlike the explorer notes that we unlock throughout ARC. And then Vin Diesel finishes off with saying, lights out, old friend. Here we go, right. 
So, I've done my research now. Santiago is a Terran Federation hacker who is the backbone of the tech tribe, with his knowledge of weaponizing element for the tribe. Ever since he woke up on the Aberrant Arc, Santiago is curious as to how a ludicrous amount of element has suddenly ruined the planet when he arrived on Earth. So what we know about Santiago is he sacrificed himself when the Titans attacked Camp Omega on Earth. Therefore, this is definitely a prequel, 100%. So perhaps if we get to see Santiago, do we get to see Helena and all of the rest of the people that we've been reading Explorer notes on throughout Ark? So Santiago created the mechs, even the mega mech. He was the guy who built all of these space age robotic things. And it appears that he has more knowledge of elements than any of the other survivors. So what throws me off here is, this is obviously a prequel because we know he died in the battle on Earth. So my take is we are going to be back on Earth in the lead up to what happened when extinction was formed. And then sure enough, we're greeted with what appears to be our world greeted by a few Tyranodon variants. And then the logo reveal. I've always wondered what this is going to look like. Obviously my mock-ups were nowhere close, but everything about this seems very tribal, seems very harking back, which I know is going to please a lot of people that perhaps were going to pull back from all of the tech and element stuff that some were groaning at. But then we can see many planets in the distance. So perhaps we're on an arc. <sighs> well, as much as I believed it was going to be when it actually dropped, and you'll see in the live reaction on Jade's stream, speechless, speechless, absolutely speechless. And there we go, there's my rundown on the arc trailer. Of course, there's an arc animated series as well, which is going to explore Helena's story. And it's going to include some fantastic voices. Gerard Butler, David Tennant, Russell Crowe. What a lineup. And I think a lot of people are gonna be more excited for the animated series than even the sequel. But I'll go more into the animated series in another video. It's almost 3 a.m. for me and I've got to go to bed. And wow, just wow. Well, holy hell. Just as I was about to close recording, I've just seen a tweet from Dolly saying the Arc 2 will be launching on PC and exclusively on Xbox. Damn. As a PlayStation player myself, that spells some concern. I mean, let's hope and wait and see. We know a lot of exclusives eventually come to other consoles, but my word, that could spell a lot of angry ARC players on PlayStation. That's all we know so far. I just thought I'd throw that in as well. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, thanks all for following me on this journey as we was on the hype train expecting it to possibly be Arc 2 and we are now all in the picture. My name's Ras Clark, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and as always, peace out.